stages, my viewer and first Lena, how have you been? I'm so delighted to come back today and I'm sure you were looking forward like I was. Yes, today we are so honored. We are so honored to have Ms. Sharon Otiede. You do not know what you are waiting for. I'm what's awaiting you. Sharon is the lead consultant at Adropino Dynamico. Hey, what a powerful name. Sharon, you definitely have to tell us what this means. Yes, she, the company is a registered HR agency in Kenya. She will also let us know what that means. And Sharon is also the founder of Tech Tribe a movement that seeks to bridge the gap between the employees and the employers in the IT space. Hey, what a good one. With She has over seven years of experience in the HR, HR, and people management. And this, for one to have been in one thing for, se for over seven years, is because she has a heart. And that is, she is very passionate about it. As, okay, I saw her start. Don't ask where. Yes, and uh, this has, is she's very passionate about it, and she's working in abundance because of pursuing this as her purpose. You may ask what her qualifications are. She's a fully certified human resource practitioner, mostly known in Kenya as CHLPK. Yes, for those who know what that means, it's hard work. Yes, she already has that. Sharon is a mother of three wonderful daughters. She's a wife. And uh, she's very good in cooking and doing getaways and many other things that we'll get to know as she speaks to us. Sharon, welcome to Abadan's First Lane. This is the place where, where we let you as my viewer and the First Lane as that Abadan's is a natural state for you. Frame yours and, and assist the ratties by all means. And first learners, today we'll have Shalon help us get to know how can we pursue our purpose, how can we pursue our abundance, if we are employed or if we are employing. Shalon, please have the floor and feel free to share what Thank you have you. in your heart. Thank you. Thank you so much, Martha Fastlin. I'm really delighted to be here. Thank you for having me to come and discuss what is um, something that is very close to my heart, which is human resource management. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, human resource management is is not a name that is used mostly. I mean, because names are changing. We have emerging trends every other day. So it is mm -hmm. people, people and culture, others call it people management. So HR is slowly facing away to now a people-oriented function. And uh, I am so delighted to be here and share with you my journey, share with you what I do. Uh, as Martha said, I'm Sharon Otiende and I am a human resource practitioner in Kenya. Um, I'm also the lead consultant at Anthropino and I'll go straight into what we do at um, Anthropino Dynamico. Our vision, just like uh, any one of us has a vision in their life, our organization too has a vision and our vision is to be a benchmark human resource consultant in Kenya. We want anyone to refer to us as the go-to for their HR needs, both employer, both employees. And our mission is to provide valued human resource support to our clients to enable them to achieve and sustain their objectives or goals. And what, what are some of the services that we offer? At, uh, at Anthropino, we have quite a variety of service. Of course, we have those ones that we majorly dwell on and we have other support services to the company, uh, which include recruitment and headhunting. So this entails, you know, going to the field and getting qualified personnel for different uh, clients and sending the candidates to the client. We also have headhunting. Headhunting is actually coaching. So if perhaps you're interested in a certain candidate and you come to us and tell us, hey, I would want to have uh, XYZ as my marketing manager. We'll carry out the process for you so professionally and hand over the candidate to you. We do HR audits. So HR audits will just include coming to see what your HR departments look like, you know, giving us the files and allowing us to go through just to see if your contract is, is in line with the, with the um, laws of Kenya, if it is up to date, uh, look at the payroll, Look, just to audit the HR department as a whole. We do trainings and team buildings depending with the, the need of the, uh, the client. 
management, HR management services, which is our strong area. This means if you already, you do not have a HR department, and this mostly applies to startups and SMEs, if you do not have a HR department, and probably you feel you do not want a full-time HR person because one, you still have few number of staff, then you'd contract us to come and do your day-to-day -day HR management. So that means we'll come, we'll do everything that pertains to HR, from on board, from recruitment to onboarding to even exit, because it's very important how you offboard a staff while you bring them into a company, while ensuring there are no gaps in between. We also offer HR advisory services. This is, could be a one-off thing, it could be a monthly thing, it could be on a need basis. Uh, organizational structure and design. Uh, we design the structure of organization depending on what you do. If what you do is project based, if what you do is in line structure, you know we can advise depending on the organization and come out with an organization structure. We do policy reviews and preparation. That means if your company does not have any HR policies or HR manual, it has different names. People call it policies. The others who call it a manual. So depending with how you want to call it, we'll come up with one if you don't have one. But if you already have one, then we can review and advise accordingly on what needs to be improved. And uh, because you know, so much is changing. Like the other day, we now have adoption as a type of leave. Is this something that is in your policy? And if it is in your policy, have you captured it so well so that employees know what it means? Have, have you done the sensitization of the policies? Do they know what they're entitled to as employees? So those are part of the services that we offer at um, Propino Dynamico. As I mentioned, our strong area is human resource management. You outsource the HR department. Remember, you could be having, say, 15 staff and you feel like you don't need a full-time HR person. And you see the good part of you now getting to outsource that to a, to a, a, um, a consultant is that you, do, you not only get the brain of one person, you have someone on the ground and this person has a whole lot of team backing them up. If it is recruitment, we back up that person. If it is the day-to-day -day HR management, we back them up. If it is disciplinary, you know he has he or she has the full backing of a whole lot of people who are well experienced. So it is not only one mind that you're dealing with. You have a lot of people behind the scenes who are helping the person in the office manage your, your staff. Uh, then someone would ask, why is it important that I need to have a HR department? Why do I need to have proper guidelines of a HR system in place? Number one, it is your image and the interest and your success is protected. One very important thing is that when you have a sound HR system, you're able to protect the image of the company. You do not want to be the company that is always behind bars in cases with the, in the employment court because you know the, your employees took you to court because you did not pay their dues, because you did not follow due process while terminating them. So it is important that you just get a professional, someone who will make sure that the image of your company is well protected. Uh, second thing is that we attract the best talent in the market. If you wanted, wanted us to recruit for you, then we'll go to the market and select the best, offer you the best candidates for sure, uh, business continuity, staff retention, because we have the strategies. We know what it takes to retain staff. We know what it means to retain staff. And so we come into place with policies that would ensure staff retention. You'll also have a motivated staff and high productivity. And uh, you'll attest to it that the H in HR right now is very active. So we look out to chances and to opportunities to where we can motivate your staff so that they, there's staff retention. Legal compliance, again, you just need to comply. In HR, compliance to the law is a must. You must comply to the laws that govern the function of HR in Kenya, which I'll talk about later on. You, there's also better performance. I mean, with a review system, with a performance management system, you know, even this person knows that, okay, this time, um, this quarter or depending with how frequently you want to do the performance reviews. This quarter, this is how I performed. And so there's a target that has been set for me of uh, a certain threshold. Have I met it? No, I haven't. So I have to work towards that. And did I uh, exceed my expectations? Yes, I did. So what does that mean? You see, so with the department, then you're able to pick up such issues and address them well in an organization. We also have better, uh, better performance fosters creativity and innovation. You know, the teams are now creative because we are working towards something. We have a department. I'm responsible to my supervisor in terms of my performance. What can I do better? 
we also have health and safety. This is just among many of the reasons as to why it is important to have a sound HR system. And for those, especially the factories, those in manufacturing industries, it's very important that you know you must adhere to the health and safety uh, laws in Kenya. What have you done right? What have you not done? What do the employees expect from you? What should you give them and what should they give you in return? So wow. that is important of a HR system. Wow. Thank you so much, Sharon. I'm, I'm thinking there are people who started their businesses on the one-man show, a one-man, uh, you know, and they, they might yeah. have grown maybe a little bit. They hire and fire at will. They employ one mm -hmm. person today. On, I mean, it so happens in the normal businesses for in Kenya. At that point, yeah. how do, do you really feel like you can convince these people they still need that HR system? I mean, not even the HR system, that they still need a HR in their business. Yes. Or I will tell business. them that. Yes, even a family business, it doesn't matter the structure of the business that you have. It is very, very important because when anything goes wrong, it comes back biting you. So whether you have four personnel, we can always customize something that will suit you. And I know maybe someone would say, I only have four staff. I mean, these are people I can manage. The only thing I need to do is to hire, get uh, their file and, you know, place them. So why do I need a HR? Because there's so much to it. Starting from even that file, that staff file that we are talking about, you probably don't even know what is supposed to contain in the file of an employee. So it is very important. We can always customize something that would fit you to make sure you're comfortable and we also are comfortable and the business is comfortable. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for that clarification. Thank you, Martha. All right. So then we we'll go to what, what are the laws that govern HR in Kenya? You know, uh, Martha Fastlane, sometimes I say in another life, I would want to be a lawyer. <laughs> we have still have a chance. <laughs> I still have a chance. Eh? Yeah. yeah, it is still valid. Mm. So we have so many laws that govern HR. Sometimes you, you read so much and you're wondering, oh, this is still HR. And you know, so many things keep changing every day. Like you see, uh, the Employment Act allows you to terminate someone's... Um, contract well on profession at will, you know, without any explanation, without anything. But recently, a court ruling was done and made that you cannot uh, just terminate someone even on profession without reason. Mm -hmm. So it is very dynamic. It changes very fast. What was applied yesterday is not probably what is being applied today. We have court cases and rulings that are made, and you see, you have to be abreast with what is happening. So the laws that govern HR in Kenya include the Constitution of Kenya. You know, very important. At least you must know. What does the Constitution of Kenya say? Does it allow this? Does it give the employee right to uh, to, to to movement? So it gives the right to movement. Who are you to dictate to them at what time? You see such like things and then applying them into maybe the policies in organization, fixing them into the contract so that you are uh, compliant to the law. We have the Employment Act. That is now our bread. That is like uh, our what? It should be here at the palm of your hand because mm -hmm. you always, always refer to the Employment Act. We have the Labor Relations Act. This one now talks about um, unions and formation of unions mm -hmm. and all those things. Labor Institution Act talks about trainings. We have NITA, the bodies that govern trainings, what is required of you, what formation, what is the formation of NITA. If you want to join NITA, what is required of you, you want to be a training, a trainer certified by NITA and all those things. Work Injury and Benefits Act, uh, commonly known as WIBA. This one covers mm -hmm. uh, staff while at the workplace in case they are injured. Who is liable? Mm -hmm. You know, I was working in a factory and the machine cut one of my fingers. Who is liable? How will it be uh, compensated? What do you look at? So that is now what is uh, uh, included in WIBA. Then we have OSHA, Occupational Health and Safety. Do we even have a safety committee at our workplace? At what number of staff do I have for me to say that now I need to have a health and safety committee? Do I provide PPEs for staff in case they're working in an environment that they need to have this? So now these are all laws that govern HR uh, practice in Kenya. And there are so many others. These are just the major ones. I mean, on, on a day to day, you would rotate, you go to the Employment Act, you, you do something and you refer to. Or shall you do something, you refer to WIPA. So those are the laws that govern 
HR practice in Kenya? Yeah. Well, uh, as you had asked, uh, firstly, what happens to those people who mm -hmm. feel that uh, I only have two staff, I maybe don't need a HR department? Mm -hmm. You know, you could only have two staff, yet one simple mistake costs you an arm and a leg, and you feel, I mean, if I had a HR who could advise or someone who knows what is to be done, we wouldn't be here. So what happens is that when you don't comply, then court cases will be the order of the day. You'll be having labor officers, come, labor officers coming to your office every other day, getting emails from them. And you know, the law in Kenya protects the employee mostly. Wow. So as an employer, by all means, you have to try and ensure that you are compliant. Because most of the time when employees go to court, they win big. They win big. So very important. It's only on very rare cases. Like um, the other day I saw there was one journalist who had gone to to uh, to court citing uh, constructive dismissal. Mm -hmm. You see, she didn't win the case, but the company had to pay her. Okay, they, she had her demands, but you see of the many demands, at least one of them was met. So mm -hmm. you see, we do not want to get into a place where we are always, always on litigation matters. We are paying fines. We are compensating someone. We are, you know, we don't want to do that because you see, we want to use our resources to better the organization and not really to pay mm -hmm. fines and, and all those things. Mm -hmm. Then if you don't comply, you'll have injuries at the workplace because you don't even know what is expected, what is the health and safety regulations that I'm supposed to meet in an organization. Could be there and everything is all over, you know, there's no proper lighting, we have cables all over the place, one falls and they injure themselves, again, it's a liable to the, to the mm -hmm. employer. So very important, there'll be no injuries at work. It will be high cost of managing staff, because probably the turn turnover is very high. The staff do not even have a grievance procedure. They don't know who to talk to in case there's a problem. So someone decides, since I don't have anyone to talk to, I don't I just uh, start looking for another job. So you are on high rotation of, of staff. So then it becomes very expensive because, again, going back to the field, to have and recruit is a whole lot of process. It's very expensive. Then you have losses due to high staff turnover. If someone just comes to there, they tell you, I'm resigning in the next one week. Probably their contract allows them to do that. And you see you've not cushioned yourself. There's no one who will be stepping in in their place to be able to take their position. It leaves you at a loss. Sure. 